Hey YouTube, hey subscribers, thanks for tuning in. I recently came across a scientific phenomenon I'd never heard of before called Prince Rupert's Drops. And the more I learned about them, the more it made me think of the paradoxical nature and behavior of the narcissist. So a Prince Rupert's Drop is a glass structure that's formed when molten glass is dropped into cool water. That rapid cooling process on the outside mixed with that high internal temperature forms a drop shaped a lot like a tadpole that can withstand a point blank range shot by a bullet to the round part of it, the head, but will shatter with a violent force if its tail is even so much as scratched. Take a look. <laughs> Now I have to tell you that I've watched dozens of videos on these drops. I'm just so amazed that they can take hammers and bullets and all other types of explosive forces to the face, but will shatter into a million little pieces if you snip their tail. It's actually kind of hilarious to me. So how does this relate to narcissistic behavior? In a video called Why the Narcissist is So Defensive, I talk about how they must defend their Jenga tower from falling over at all costs. So to do that, they prevent people from coming anywhere near the table. They know how fragile they are, so they don't want anyone to jar the table and cause them to topple over and have everything about them just fall completely to pieces. Well, it's the same thing here, except they're protecting their tail. Narcissists also, like the head of the Prince Rupert's Drop, are hard. They're hard to deal with, hard to live with, they're hard to be around, but they're also hard in the sense that they seem to have a certain inexhaustible resilience and they don't appear to have any breaking points. So for those reasons, the narcissist presents themselves in the world like the head of the Prince Rupert's drop, giving the appearance that they are completely impenetrable, completely immune, completely invincible to all of life as compared to everyone else. But in reality, not only are they as fragile as other people, they're more fragile than other people because if you hurt them even a little bit, even the slightest bit, it completely melts them down and wipes them out. Whereas another person, you might be able to chip their tail and their whole everything doesn't explode and implode. But the narcissist can't tolerate any type of stress to their particular weak point. So they give this appearance of hardness in the world when in reality, they have an Achilles heel that if discovered would completely wipe them out. So that Achilles heel above all other things is exposure. Their greatest fear is exposure. So in this case, exposure would be the tail of the Prince Rupert's drop. A narcissist can persist in their hardness as long as you never call them out on their bad behavior. Once you do, they will explode into a million little pieces. They will go into full meltdown. I want you to know that as you're dealing with these people, know that the hardness and the difficulty, all of that is a front. It's a front and a lie and a sham. And there is a tale that if it even gets breathed upon just about, will crumble their entire world with lightning speed. Now I am not advocating for you to go in search of their tales because narc meltdowns aren't pretty and they can even be dangerous. I just want you to be aware of the tale's existence. I want you to find a lot of humor in the fact that if you accidentally step on their tail, pop goes the narc. I want you to know at all times what you're actually dealing with. And hopefully the Prince Rupert's Drop analogy has helped you realize that. Thank you all for listening. I hope you enjoyed this video. Have a great weekend and I grant you the permission to exist. Bye-bye.